Today I'm going to show you how we went from this to this. Let's get into it. So pretty much this customer came along to the shop. He said, man, do whatever you want. Hook me up. Whatever you think is best. I kind of looked at him and I said, you know what? A crop top skin fade would look really nice on him with a beard. So the first thing I did was basically comb the hair in the direction that I wanted it to be. Then I grabbed my number three guard and I started to basically form a shape. Now he was a fresh canvas. Um, I combed the hair, like I said, the way I wanted it to be. And then I started just clearing the bulk. Uh, you want to grab the biggest guard possible. In this case, I grabbed the number three. I felt like that would do a good job. Now you can notice I'm keeping it a little bit low because we are going to do a crop top. So we do want the hair on top to have something to lay on on the side. If you bring the fade up too high, what's going to happen is the hair on the side is just going to fall over. You don't want that type of crop top. So what we're doing here again is just keeping a little bit of bulk on the side, keeping it a little lower than usual. So when we start out the skin line, we're going to keep that a little bit lower as well. And that's really going to give you that fade, that look that you want. So when you do crop the top of the head, it's going to lay down perfectly. So right here, I grabbed my outliner, pretty much started my skin line right in the temple area of the head. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start to drop down a little bit more in the back. I'm going to give it more of a triangle look in the back. You don't have to do that. I just did that to kind of remind myself that I'm basically, you know, dropping it. So I kind of do that every once in a while. But when I do fade it out, it's going to be regular fade. It's not going to be like triangular faded, if that makes sense. So I kind of gave it a point right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it another point on the side as well. You're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Again, guys, when you're doing that skin line, make sure that you take all the hair off evenly. Obviously, for video purposes, we speed it up a little bit more, but you wanna make sure that it's nice and clean, guys. You don't wanna leave any hair behind because when you do start your blend, you're gonna confuse yourself if you do see hair. Now, at this point, it's only right we grab the number two guard. Again, you can see me making a scooping motion and going as high as possible. I mean, as low as keeping it as low as possible, but you can see me bringing the clipper guard up and giving a scooping motion, keeping it as low as possible. I'm gonna do that all the way around the head as well. And we're gonna work our way from the biggest guard down to the smallest guard. Now we're gonna go ahead and start our first guideline. Well, our second guideline, actually. We're gonna open our machine up all the way. That first guideline was our skin line. Then we're gonna open the machine up all the way and start that second guideline, which is our half. Now you can see, again, the fade is pretty low and we're gonna keep it under the top of that hair. You see the hair that I left there, that uh, canvas that I cleared out, cleared out the bulk. It's gonna be like a fade that's a little under that, basically. It's gonna give it a nice look. Stick around, guys. You're gonna see the look that it's really gonna give this fade. Pretty, pretty sick. I love the way this haircut came out. Same thing over here. Keep the guideline going, bend the ear, get the customer's ear out the way. This way you can put your machine there and get around the ear. I see a lot of new barbers. You can see how I'm pushing his ear down. It's not hurting him. A lot of new guys are like scared to push down the ear. You wanna go ahead and push that down. So what I did was jump to the one and a half guard. Again, smaller strokes now, scooping motion. And you're really gonna to start to see this fade take place within the next two guards that I'm gonna put on a clipper. In this particular case, I'm using a, a wall magic clip. I like this machine, pretty classic. Um, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty sturdy. I love the way it cuts. It's clean. It doesn't vibrate as much in your hand. It's just a perfect machine if you want to do something like this. Um, again, it's good at clearing bulk depending on the hair. A lot of times I do switch over to my babyless clippers if the, if the hair is a little bit more coarse. I'll switch to another clipper, but it just all depends on the customer. You can't use this clipper for everything, but he had that nice light. His, his hair was pretty thin, so it went right through it like nothing. So what I did here was drop down to the one guard. We're really going to see this phase start to really take place now. Flicking the wrist, shorter strokes, really, really taking my time at this point um, and just really, really flicking the wrist and like making sure I don't go too high because it's very, very crucial. If you go too high, what you're going to do is you're going to bring that one guard up too high and it's pretty much going to make the fade look choppy. So it's really, really up to you to make sure that you really concentrate on what you're doing and flicking your wrist, guys. If you guys are new out there and you just started cutting hair, grab the machine. You can see how I'm holding it right there and kind of learn how to flick. Look how I'm freestyling right into that hair. 
I'm giving it a scoop of motion, going nice and slow, and really freestyling into the hair. Grab the clippers, even if you're not cutting somebody, and practice scooping motion, practice holding your clippers. A lot of you new guys out there, you wanna learn how to hold the clippers. We do have videos on the channel where I'm on the channel talking about how to hold your clippers, how to properly use your clippers, how to use the lever on your machine, tons of videos, how to, how to use clipper guards, Go to the channel, you're gonna to see tons of videos like that as well. So what I did here was drop down to my number, well, half guard, and pretty much same thing, shorter strokes, making sure I'm flicking that wrist. And now look how this fade is really, really starting to take place, guys. You can see the blend, extremely blurry. We're gonna have one more guideline that we need to take, that we need to take out pretty much as the skin line. And you can see why I left the hair on the top, guys. You can see it almost gives it more of a, the hair on top is laying down on the side, guys. And when it's gonna make more sense when I start to style the hair and I use some of the Easy Blade texture powder and we put that in the hair and we pretty much crop it and make it give it that nice texture look. Uh, took off my half guard right here and now we're taking out the skin line. Now it's very important when you're doing this part to use your lever. As you get higher, you wanna use your lever. Now if you guys remember, when we started the fade, we used the machine open. So we're gonna have to imagine where we put that line at. Okay, I bent the ear. I'm pretty much using my machine all the way closed. As I get higher, I'm opening that lever and I'm not exceeding the area where I put that half in the beginning. Remember when I opened the machine up all the way, I'm not exceeding that area. I'm not bringing my machine any higher than that. So it's shorter strokes, keeping your machine lower, scooping motion, and making sure that you're opening the lever as you get higher. So it's all gonna make sense with the top guys. Once we start to style the hair, it's really gonna to come together and you're gonna understand exactly what happened and why I did what I do. Same thing on each side guys, concentrating on that blend, not paying attention to what's around you, just really, really getting it in and focusing on the haircut guys. We're barbers, we're artists, we gotta make sure that we really get in. Now look at that blend guys, now to really make it pop off, I'm gonna go ahead and shape the corners right here. He doesn't wanna line up the front, um, you know, cause you can see the hair, it hangs over. We're not gonna line up the front. Now, if we were having, you know, if he didn't have that, we would have we would have just uh, kind of lined up the front. So, um, but we need that hair hanging over. Over here, we're gonna start our beard um, and we're gonna start the sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the top, giving it a round, a round effect, okay? Now, all the details gonna come in with the straight razor. We're not gonna worry about it too much with the machine because that detail always comes from the straight razor, guys. You wanna make sure that you give the detail with the straight razor. The outline is pretty much to take off that bulk of hair give it your shape, and then that straight razor is to make it really, really sharp and to get it where you wanna be. So we're gonna go ahead and line the bottom of the neck, giving it a round effect, keeping it low, uh, keeping it at the bottom of the neck, not bringing it up to the chin, uh, just pretty much keeping the beard pretty low. We're also gonna raise the neck as well. This way it looks nice and clean, guys. Same thing on this side, we're making sure we're going around, making sure everything is nice and tight. I'm also gonna get under the mustache as well. Um, and pretty much, I don't think he wanted to shape the top of his mustache, but I wanted to get any hair that was hanging over the lip. That's just always a thing for me because when the hair hangs over the lip, it just doesn't look good at all. So I get the top of the mustache a little bit, not too much, he didn't want it too crazy. So we grabbed some Easy Blade Shave Gel. You guys can grab that on our website, easybladeshavingproducts.com. Now what this is gonna do is pretty much allow the blade to glide. We're gonna apply some of the shave gel on there. Uh, we're going to grab an Easy Blade straight razor along with an Easy Blade double edged razor. We're going to pull that skin, angle the blade at a 30, and stop the blade exactly where we want it to be. Now, all the new guys that don't know how to use a straight razor, if you angle the blade correctly and you pull the skin, you can see me pressing down and pulling up. If you do that, you're going to really, really get the blade, I mean, get the line exactly where you want it to be. If you guys don't know how to use a straight razor, just type into the YouTube uh, search engine how to use it, how to use a straight razor. One of our top videos should pop up. I think it's at a million views right now, almost over a million views. Check that out. Um, that's gonna really show you how to use a straight razor. I really go into detail on breaking it down, you know, how to use that straight razor. Same thing over here, pulling the skin, angling the blade at 30. I got nothing to worry about. A lot of customers say when I use a straight razor on them, they don't even feel it. A lot of people are like, I don't even feel that. You really doing it? I'm like, yeah, is there a blade in there? I'm like, yes, there's a blade in here. I pretty much know how to angle that blade, pretty much know how to stretch the skin. Like you see it's going under the neck shaving upward pretty much getting it nice and clean now for the top we're going to go ahead and scissor it out now i'm going to do a real basic scissor cut just straight to the back now you can see that bulk on the side i kind of comb the hair to the side just to separate it before i comb the hair back now i'm going to go ahead and start combing the hair back and when we comb the hair back we're going to do a straight scissor cut i'm going to use three fingers and i'm going to cut right where that third finger is at and i'm going to do that 
all the way around the head. I'm gonna push the hair back again. I'm gonna match the part that I just cut and match the back of it with that. So every time I go back, I'm pulling it up and matching exactly what I did before it, okay? So it's a basic scissor cut, nothing too fancy. Um, and just basically, basically just taking some hair off. We got about, I wanna say maybe a half an inch or a little bit more than a half an inch, uh, pretty much scissoring them out. So I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around the head. You can see from this angle a little bit better, pretty much matching it. So every time I pull back the hair, I can see the hair that I previously cut. Now there are other ways you can cut, you know, with the scissors, you can split the middle um, and pretty much, you know, line it up like that. But this is a pretty straightforward, simple cut, nothing crazy. So we're gonna blow dry it out. And then we're gonna apply some Easy Blade texture powder in the hair, but you wanna make sure that you dry the hair first before you apply a texture powder into the hair. Make sure it's nice and dry, go over it. I love this blow dryer, it's a Dyson blow dryer. The strongest blow dryer I've ever used. I would love for them to make this cordless one day. I'm sure they're working on that technology. Um, it's corded, of course. But uh, here we go, we're gonna apply some Easy Blade texture powder. Now you wanna get the texture powder under the hair. You wanna get it more towards the scalp. And this is gonna allow the hair to get basically textured. It's gonna go under the hair and give it this look that you see right here. And I really, really love the way this fade haircut came out. Just styling it with my fingers, going through it, pushing it around. I'm gonna put some more uh, Easy Blade texture powder in the back as well. Moving it around, putting it where I want. And this guy really liked this haircut when I finished with him. He stood up, he said, how much? I told him the price, he said, wow, that's it? And you know what I mean? That made me happy. And this is what we got. Thanks, guys. Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com.